Users with a T-log entry role can create a T-log in their app. To create a new T-log, go to Dashboard and click on the Individual tab. Click on the new link beside T-log. On the Select Program for T-log page, select the required program from the list. Then on the Individual List page, click on the name of the individual for whom you want to do the T-log. This will open the T-log page. Here you'll see the individual name and program name on the top. You will see your name on the entered by field as you are entering the information in the T-log. It is to note that fields marked with red asterisks must be filled in the form. Select the appropriate type or types for the T-log by clicking on the checkbox beside the available types. It is required to select at least one type from the available types which can be helpful in future searches. Select the notification level from the drop-down list based on the importance of the information. Next in the summary field, you have to enter a brief summary or headline of the T-log. Now in the description field, you'll type down the main content or information of the T-log. In the description field, you can type up to 10,000 characters. You may click on the clock icon beside the time in and time out sections to mention the time range of the information if the time in and time out feature has been enabled from the provider preferences section of your account. The system automatically includes the user's name as the creator of the T-log. You can type the name of the reporter in the reporter section if the information is reported by any other user. The system automatically records the date that you create the T-log, but you may click on the calendar icon beside the reported on section to select the date of the report. On the bottom of the calendar, you may click on the clock icon to select the time of the report. On the attachment section, you'll be able to attach a document or upload a picture with the T-log. To attach a document, you may click on the Add File or Scan File button beside Document Attachment. You may click on the Add Image button beside Photo to add a picture with the T-log. If you're adding a file or photo here, do remember your file or photo size should not exceed more than three megabytes. If all the necessary fields are filled up, click on the Submit button at the bottom right corner of the form. After clicking on the Submit button, a success message will be displayed in the following page. You may click on the form link to view the T-log you just created. Or if you'd like to create a new T-log, you may click on the Create New T-log link.